What's up y'all? Today I'm going to be giving y'all a pretty simple tutorial on how to do ramp slow motion in Final Cut Pro X. This could be applied for wakeboarding, skateboarding, snowboarding, whatever extreme sport you want, or just whatever you want in general. So yeah, let's just get straight to the point and I'll show you how it works. Alright, here we are. Basically you're just going to open up Final Cut Pro X and start a new project. Then from there you're just going to drop the clip in the timeline that you want to apply the ramp slow motion to. Here's our clip that we're going to be applying the slow motion to. I'll just play through it really quickly. And I'll show you the rest. It's pretty much a, a simple task. So you're going to find the point where you want to start your ramp slow motion. So for me, it will be right here at the beginning of this melon grab. And I will press I for in. And then I will find the end point of where I want to stop the slow motion. So about where I'm going to let go of the grab, I will kind of stop my slow motion here by pressing the letter O. And then I will just go straight up here to this time remap tool. And I will pick the speed that I want. I'm going to drop it down to 25%. And here's a problem that some people will run into and you can't really figure out why. I'll just play it through really quick. So the clip played and it slowed down and everything, but you didn't really get that ramp slow motion sound that you wanted. Now the way to make it happen and have that awesome sound that everybody's looking for, you just click back on that time remap tool and scroll down to the bottom and click on preserve pitch. Uncheck it. If you uncheck preserve pitch, it will give you the awesome sound you are looking for. In most cases, that's all you're going to really need to do and all you're going to really want, but sometimes you may want to fine tune your ramp slow motion. So basically there's this clear little bar here, and if you want to adjust that and drag it forward or backwards, that's going to adjust how quickly it's going to ramp into the slow motion or how slowly it's going to ramp into the slow motion. So if you just want to fine tune and play with these to get exactly what you want, you can do that too. And yeah, that's pretty much it. That's ramp slow motion for you. Check it out. I'll play it one more time. And uh, I hope you're stoked. Peace.